What's going on, everyone? So, guys, hopefully you checked my uh, previous video, which was the video of me changing the oil on my Soya Tundra. Covered the whole process from changing the oil to changing the oil filter. Be sure to check it out. And definitely, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe because as you can see, I'm up here working late to get these videos edited for you. I want to basically just take the time out and just, you know, enjoy a little modification that I got going on on my Tundra. Now, when it comes to valve stems, valve stem caps, they basically help, let's just say, they help protect your actual valve stems from the elements of outside. Road debris, just trash from humans, mother nature, the weather, you know, such as the harsh weather. You got the uh, snow season, and then, you know, with snow season, then you got fall, and all of the elements of Mother Nature tends to get into valve stems, too, if you don't have the actual valve stem cap. Valve stems basically act as a protection to protect the actual valve stems from the elements of outside. Now, say for instance, if something got into your valve stem and you were to try to add some air to your tire, and you have something stuck in between the valve stem and the valve stem is not opening because of that, now you gotta look at taking your vehicle to a tire shop to get that valve stem replaced and hopefully you got it in your budget and hopefully they got some valve stem replacements. Oh gosh, and hopefully you didn't have to pay for towing. Getting a valve stem cap is definitely worth it. In my situation, I recently upgraded my wheels. Still got my stock ones, but I bought some off-road wheels, which they didn't have valve stem caps. So I'm like, mm, let's go ahead and add some uh, cheap insurance to those valve stems to keep them protected. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Be sure to watch. All right guys, so as you can see here, we have some tire valve caps. Uh, for our valve stems on my 2017 Toyota Tundra. It's a simple install, simple video. But what kind of caught my off guard here is when I uh, flip these valve caps over. Very common that we're going to see made in China. But for a valve cap that was supposed to be advertised for Tundra, it says actually Prius. <laughs> should be pretty much universal but you know for it to say prius i'm like man these are too nice to be on prius let me just open this bad boy up for you guys to see Whew, that was a little bit difficult it took me about an hour to get this cap open but we got it open go ahead and look at this so i want to say this finish is probably what do you want to call it um like a dark metallic it's absolutely beautiful i absolutely like it it's got like a dark black gunmetal finish uh, it's got the Toyota logo here. So look at that. That's beautiful. It's a sticker, but it's a rubber sticker, if you catch what I'm saying. So it's not like a, a you know, a pitch of a sticker. It's like rubber globe. There's the threads. They look nice and beautiful. Uh, it's got a little um, rubber garment inside of there, like a rubber gasket. I like that. I like that. And uh, pretty much all of them are roughly the same. Man, this thing is it's heavily protected, man. These these tire valve stems, they are absolutely heavily protected in this styrofoam case. You know, absolutely awesome uh, shipping uh, protection. I like that, man. I like that indeed, man. Amazon at that best, man. I'll tell you that for a fact. These are the wheels that we're going to be installing these valve stem on they are 33 by 1250 r20 light terrain these are red dirt road tires they are mud tires we got some spike lugs on did this paint job myself you know it's a quick throw on some paint type of ordeal anyway let's go ahead and Oh, goodness 
see these are the standard standard caps just about Back so that's what we're looking at. I like it. You know, just a little extra mod there because you know, each and every modification it matters, man. I tell you, you have somebody walk up to your truck and they be like looking at each and everything. You know, you'd be like, oh, look at the flag. You know, you got a flag there. You know, you got some spikes on them. You will. You even got. Uh, the GM style edition tow mirrors. Absolutely beautiful tow mirrors at that. Tell me, man. It's modification after modification when it comes to your uh, vehicle. So yeah, each and every detail, it doesn't matter, man. Even, even if you, I'm pretty sure you don't know, but that's LED. And if you come over here, that's switchback LED, so, and park, it's white and drive, it goes uh, amber. Modifications matter, guys. Don't forget that. Now modifications, they don't add horsepower, but it definitely does add a different visual look in comparison to your other drivers that got the same vehicle as yours. Stuff like this, I like it. You know, it may not be something that suits your, your needs or your likes, you know, you may be against people putting the aftermarket valve stems on there for whatever reason you know you're entitled to your own thing you know um but to me everybody out there that that's interested into replacing your valve stems for aftermarket because you don't like the stock ones i say go right ahead baby go right ahead you know even if you throw on a sticker decal to your vehicle you know make your vehicle be a vehicle something that you like don't do any modifications to get other people's likes because you'll never be satisfied with your vehicle again when you're doing modifications to your vehicle do modifications to your liking never do a modification to your vehicle for someone's else liking because you will never like your vehicle it's the same thing as getting a vehicle get a vehicle you like don't get a vehicle uh, for other people to like because you'll never like it especially if it has car payments you'll hate it so that is a word from yours truly mr jones peace